Happening today, we're awaiting a visit from Secretary of Homeland Security Kirsten Nielsen. I'm Jason Martinez. I'm Virginia Shaw. She is expected to be in Imperial Beach this afternoon. News anchor Mary McKenzie is live in San Ysidro, where, Mary, there are multiple developments in the story about the border. Yeah, a lot of eyes on the border today. You can see down here below us, right at the crossing at San Ysidro, it looks as though this is uh, some police practicing going on, but they are obviously in full SWAT gear. We keeping an eye on them, but it appears that they are just performing drills at this time, but it gives you a sense of the heightened level of security here at the border. This high profile visit, of course, adding to that, as well as the expected announcement from the White House about the troops that have been sent here to the border. Uh, I want to show you, we have video of uh, Department of Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen when she was here last month. She'll be back in San Diego this afternoon to provide an update on ongoing border security efforts in the migrant caravan. And these recent tweets from Chief Border Protection Agent Rodney Scott show the, the layers of concertina wire at the beach fence as well as the additional agents deployed to San Diego. And now the White House is expected to announce today that U.S. military troops will now be allowed to use force to protect border agents from any acts of violence by members of the caravan should they become overwhelmed, for instance. And then a third major piece of this story of the border unfolding late last night, a judge barring part of the president's proclamation that says anyone who crosses between official ports of entry would be ineligible for asylum. U.S. District Court judge saying that that violates federal law. Now, we talked with uh, the executive director of Casa Cornelia. They often represent asylum seekers. She says the process is already difficult enough. This proclamation was making it even harder for those with legitimate claims who don't necessarily know how to navigate our complicated legal system. It would, would have made it much more difficult uh, for the person who actually does have a credible and legitimate claim to be able to go forward and find safety and protection under our current laws as they exist. So again, the uh, DHS secretary expected to be in Imperial Beach this afternoon. I also talked with the ACLU attorney who is uh, battling this fight in court over the asylum ban. You'll hear from him at 1130 and we'll continue to keep an eye on these exercises that are happening here in San Ysidro. Mary McKenzie, 10 News. Mary, thank you very much.